Hello friends, good morning. We are at YMCA Ahmedabad. I am Dr. Smithy Padi. I am coming back. I am here today with another episode of Talking Point SGSU. And today I have Dr. Sriram, Director of Symbiosis. Welcome, sir, to the show. Thank you. Yeah, this is a show which is watched mostly by students and teachers of our university and also the affiliated colleges that we have. Okay. And we try and take up subjects and topics related to sports, sports education, physical activities, and we. So they are like looking forward to the content of it. So today we are talking about sports. Uh, yes. Why sports? <laughs> well, first of all, you know, before we start, I would just like to say thanks to Swami Gujarat Sports it's University our for pleasure. having me here. And we spent a wonderful two days with the task force uh, discussing sports, yeah, and yeah. sports management and sports education. Here, I would like to tell my audiences that uh, uh, Sir was here specifically for this National Task Force Committee meeting, which has taken up this uh, noble task of you bringing about uniformity in the course curriculum, in the assessment rubrics, the nomenclature related to the various uh, disciplines of sports. Yeah, uh, just like to say one thing, you know, as far as sports is concerned, I think it should be made an integral part of everybody's yeah, life. Yeah. Now, looking at the way that uh, stress has been taking yeah. over all our yes, lives, you know, yes. previously we used to say that education is one sector which is completely stress free. Mm -hmm. But uh, looking at the kind of lives and the kind of uh, pressures that teachers as well as students live with, mm -hmm. I think, you know, sports can be one way in which to release Leaving this pressure. That pressure Apart stress. from you know ensuring the physical well-being yeah. of people, yeah. Yeah. you know I think uh, emotional well-being is something that we really need to look at. Mm -hmm. And I think sports can really play a huge role in this. And also with this multimedia and phones and social To be social very media honest with you, uh, multimedia and phones are uh, necessary to evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will exactly. put it that way. <laughs> I mean, we are doing. No matter what, I mean, that's taking a cue from what I you're... just put it on silent. <laughs> yes, you see. Yeah. So, uh, uh, having uh, said this, though it is uh, necessary, but as Sir said, it is necessary, Evelyn, it has also a big role to play in the contribution of stress and all. So, sports yes, but that is just a very good example of that. <laughs> yes. So, uh, I think sports is something that should be made integral to everybody's yeah. life, yeah. Uh, yeah. not just for physical well being, but also psychological yes. well being. And uh, looking forward, I think this is also going to be one of the areas which is going to be extremely remunerative. Mm -hmm. Now, I come from the field of management. Yeah. And uh, this is one thing that we always tell our people, you know, what is different about management? So, you know, when we are doing this, we must understand that one of the biggest and the most growing sectors that is going to be there in the future it's is going to be sports, sports, the management of sports, because sports has grown beyond what was there originally. Yeah. It's yeah. more than a physical activity. It's more than a Saturday time pass activity now. Yeah. It is so no longer a Saturday time pass activity. As a matter of fact, it has become a hardcore business. Yeah. Because all of you who must have watched, for example, the Football World Cup, yeah. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. Even the IPL. The IPL at home, closer at home, it's a huge business. Mm -hmm. And it just not involve just people playing. It's not just those 22 people on the field or the 22,000 uh, watching from outside. As somebody yes. says, you know, 22 fools playing and 22,000 fools watching. It's actually going to be 122 crore fools who actually watch the game. Hmm. Now, 122 crore people who are watching, for example, a hypothetical example may or not happen in the near future, which is India versus Pakistan, hmm. comprise the 122 crore market. Exactly. Now, for somebody who wants to promote his or her brand, having access to this market through maybe electronic media, through print media, leave alone physical because electronic media has now completely taken over and it's yeah. reaching a huge market not just in the Indian subcontinent but globally. Across the globe. So for us, it becomes a huge market mm -hmm. and this actually has a spin-off, it has a dominoes mm -hmm. effect. Mm -hmm. You don't have just the entertainment industry because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, apart from entertainment, this is an industry. Yeah. Right? There are n number of support services which are there. So that would include logistics, hospitality, hospitality, travel, mm -hmm. and uh, branding, promotion, clothing, you name it. It's, it's part of it. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of the day, we're going to need people for this. Yes, exactly. 
Exactly. You know, so that is why I think universities like Swamin should take the role. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They should take the lead in this, mm -hmm. not just in producing athletes, yes. but promoting what we would call a culture of sports. Yes. Creating a sports ecosystem. Creating a complete matter. sports ecosystem which actually promotes. Yeah. I'm reminded of a message that I read, I came across on the Facebook a couple of days ago. Like somebody wrote, said that, see, um, the population of France or the population of a small European country and the population of India, there is no match. But then you see that the, the, the kind of uh, game that they are playing, and somebody else wrote that how many of, uh, how much of the population in India are actively engaging in sports, and how if they are like 10, 10 out of 7 in those countries engage in sports or climbing or mountaining or swimming, cycling. And if in India we have 100, so out of 100, only 6 they are actively participating. So you, can, you cannot consider. 10 and 100, you have to consider the actively participating, participating. people. Secondly, also, people. you know, what you need to consider is the fact that uh, we are comparing a developed economy with yeah. what is a developing economy. Yeah. Yeah. And the economic levels cannot be compared. Yes. You know, it is probably a misnomer today because it goes contradictory to what I said in the beginning yeah. that it should be made an integral part. But it can only be made an integral part, you know, once your economic needs have been satisfied. Mm -hmm. Exactly. If your mind is not at rest, if your mind is, you know, how am I going to keep my job, how am I going to grow in my job, how, and how am I going to earn money, butter, yeah, then, then, you know, your mind is not at ease and you are not going to get into this. Yeah, yeah. What probably needs to be done is bringing in governmental support mm -hmm. for the promising athletes, mm -hmm. so that at least, you know, they don't have to worry about these things. Mm -hmm. Now, the second thing that we have also discussed during these meetings today is how is it that we can support such people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, it is not necessary. We've had several examples yeah. of our own athletes who did not come from elite backgrounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But they have still gone and performed. I mean, you can leave an Abhinav Bindra aside. Mm -hmm. That's an exception. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of other athletes and there are a lot of other sports people mm -hmm. who do not come from a good financial background. Mm -hmm. You take, for example, the biggest uh, sport today, I would say the biggest in terms of money it is, mm -hmm. cricket. Mm -hmm. Up till 20 years back, a cricketer's life was not secure. Mm -hmm. right? And the amounts that were being paid were literally a pittance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But today, mm -hmm. you know, somebody who gets a contract, let's say from the BCCI, mm -hmm. is assured of a certain sum of money. Exactly. Right? Exactly. That enables him or her, I will say her, because now the women are also coming very, very strongly in cricket. So you're quite positive about the role the sports education set up. I would, say it, I would definitely say because sports education is, again I'm saying, it's not just about physically playing the sport. It's now about the multifarious support activities that are there. Yeah. And all these activities today are also part of the sports ecosystem. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Right, right. So uh, yeah, I, I, I hope you enjoyed this discussion and uh, Sir talked about many aspects of sports education and how it's going to play an important role in developing this sports ecosystem which is the much needed thing in this country right now. So thank you Dr. Sri Ram and it was good to, good to have you on our show. Thank you. Thank you.